Welcome to the new digital experience for electric power. To access this new experience, visit power.cat.com. On this site, you can size a generator for your power needs in a simple three-step process. Once you know what size generator set you need, you will be able to view matching products in inventory with your local dealer. If the generator you need is not available, you can still configure your own bespoke generator set with the customer configurator. You can also access a set of engine room design calculator tools to assist in planning your generator set installation. This short video will give you an overview of the three-step generator set sizing process using the Size a Generator application. Click Size a Generator to start the process. In step one, check and update the electrical supply requirements such as voltage, frequency and phase by clicking the pencil symbol under Electrical Supply section on the left-hand side. You can also update the site conditions, ambient temperature, altitude of the project if your site conditions differ from the default site condition. Then select the types of loads at site, both three-phase and one-phase loads. You can see a collection of commonly available electrical load types such as UPS, motor, lighting, heating and kitchen types for both industrial and domestic applications. For example, if your site has three-phase lighting, office equipment, and some one-phase motor loads, then select Lighting, Office Equipment in three-phase load section and single-phase motor type under single-phase loads. Click Continue at the bottom of the page to go to Step 2. This is where you enter the details of each of the loads you have selected in Step 1. For example, if your project has 50 kilowatts fluorescent lighting, 25 kVA office equipment, and four numbers of two HP one-phase motors started using VFD or variable frequency drive, Enter the amount 50 under Rating for Lighting Load. As the default unit for lighting load type is kilowatts, move on to the lighting type. As the default lighting type is LED, use the drop-down to change to fluorescent. You can see there are other types of lighting available if you need to select. Enter 25 for office equipment and change the unit from kilowatts to KVA. For single phase motor, use the drop-down to select 2 for output power and change the motor design from Capstart Indiana Run to VFD. Check and change the unit of the single phase motor load type if required. Since your project has four numbers of these single phase motors, click Duplicate to add three more single phase motors. Well done! You have now completed the step of adding all your site loads for sizing calculation. You can also add different type of load from Select a Load drop-down at the bottom left hand side of this page and clicking Add Load button. This will save time going back to step one and add any new load types. Let's say you want to add a three-phase elevator load now. Select Elevator and click Add Load button. A new load type elevator will appear at the bottom of the loads already entered. Enter the elevator data, for example 10 and 15, for running and starting. And finally, select the appropriate units such as amps, KVA, kilowatts, or HP. You can also select different load sequence for your site loads. By default, all the loads are assumed to be connected to the genset in a single step or step one. The amount of loads connected to the genset in a single step influences your genset size. A larger kilowatts load step will result in bigger engine or genset size. Sequencing or connecting one load at a time to the genset can help selecting an optimum or smaller genset size. If you know the step or sequence of these loads, enter the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. under Step for each of the loads on this page. You can also duplicate or delete any loads before you proceed to Step 3 to size your generator. Click Continue to go to Step 3, where the minimum power requirement in KVA or kilowatts will be shown. You can also add plus 20% spare capacity to account for future expansion of your project by clicking the slider below the power requirement section. This will update the minimum power requirement. You can now go to view the dealer's inventory or build your own generator for the given recommended genset size. If you have any questions or feedback, please email to specsizerssupport at cat.com or contact your local dealer. Thank you for your time and patience, and I hope the video was useful to you.